G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ash. Hope you're all doing well and uh, well today I thought I'd do something different. While everybody's beating their drum about how wonderful the new French aircraft is come in the next coming patch, I uh, well have recently just come back from a PAX Australia and I'm having some technical issues with uh, the footage I've got, the sound that I've got and well I'm also having issues with this bloody uh, editing software too. So it's been a pain. Uh, I've recorded this line about eight or nine times uh, and rendered it eight or nine times and well, yeah, here it goes I suppose. This is the DB7. It's a French, well, American French aircraft uh, and I have it painted in circus camouflage. The Vichy French camouflage is a wonderful thing. Uh, but that's a bit off topic. Today's video is going to be uh, a tech tree showcase. Well, I say tech tree showcase. I mean, it's it's my progress within War Thunder. Uh, considering I haven't done one of these in two years, I thought it was about time. Anyway, let's have a look at the Americans, shall we? So, this is the American tree, and the American aircraft tree, uh, I'm currently mostly up to date. I've got everything up to tier 4, excluding the new vehicles. So, I've got a couple of holes here. I've got to get the new Corsairs, the A26 and the P51H. Uh, and my general rule of thumb is well, you unlock everything at tier 3 before progressing to tier 4. And I know that may sound crazy to some people, but that's just how I unlock everything very slowly. Um, I haven't really played much of War Thunder recently, so that's why uh, my Americans haven't really been touched as such. I've got most of the a naval jetline. I, I need to get the Panther and the Cougar, and then I need to get the Shooting Stars, the Thunder Jets, and the Sabres. The Army Tree is a little bit similar, however. I've got everything at up to Tier 3, and I'm researching... Well, the M41 Walker Bulldog at Tier 4. So I've got to get Tier 4, Tier 5, and the Tier 6. But I've got access to a T29, so how hard can that be? Germans are in a similar state in, in terms of their tanks. However, well, I've got the National and the Waffendrager, the Panther D, to go before I progress into the next set of tiers. I've got the two King Tigers, and I also have my only Tier 5 vehicle, which is the Kugel Blitz. An interesting vehicle, I haven't really played with it too much, but apparently it was too overpowered, so they moved it up to Tier 5. So when I unlocked it, it was originally Tier 4. Well, I've got a Tier 5 now. German aviation is a little bit similar, except for the fact that, well, I have absolutely everything, excluding the CL-13A Sabre. Now, I, in terms of premiums, I've pretty much got everything, excluding, like, a few that I haven't really had a look at, and maybe one exclusive aircraft, but generally speaking, I've got everything for Germany. For Russians, I've got uh, several premiums, all, all the way up to Tier 4, um, and... Aviation-wise, I'm currently unlocking the Su-6 AM-42, which is a new addition to the, well, the Russians. And uh, prior to that, I was researching the jets. Basically, we went down. My first uh, Russian jet was the IL-28, and then I went for the LA-15, and then I got the Tu-14T. And uh, halfway through grinding the MiG-9, and all of a sudden, the LA-174 event came on. So out comes the uh, premium Mark 9C Spitfire, and well, I got that aircraft within two days um, other than that I haven't really touched any of the yaks or any of the MiGs at all on to Britain now this is probably my most complete nation yet because I actually have absolutely everything in the British tree I've got all the jets I've got everything there's only four vehicles I don't have and I know they're Two of which are exclusive, and the other two... Actually, no, three of them are exclusive, and one of them I haven't got. So, the Wyvern uh, is one of them. A version of this very Spitfire. There's another version of this particular Spitfire, without uh, Australian roundels um, and the Australian flag. Uh, I can't remember which version of Spitfire it is, but I think you can still get it somewhere. Um, and then a vehicle that is similar to this. This is the D521. But there is a D520, which is a French uh, aircraft that's currently in the game. Um, it Similar tier, similar butter rating. It's pretty much the same. The only difference is the camouflage. Then there is a RAF version of the DB7, if it ever pops into to view. There is an RAF version of this very aircraft, and uh, I don't have that. 
So that's pretty much it for my British aviation. British uh, Army, however, I've got all the premium tanks, excluding a couple of... Uh, I think there's a couple of exclusive vehicles that you could only get through events. I believe one of them was the... Um, uh, the Iron Duke, which I think is a comet uh, off off memory, but generally speaking, I've got everything at tier three, uh, and I'm working towards unlocking my Challenger. Uh, I, again, I don't have anything at rank four, rank five, or rank six, and that's pretty much the same with Japan. So let's move on to Japan here. Japan, I'm working on unlocking the last tier three before moving on to unlocking everything at tier four, and well, then I've got to unlock everything at tier five. Aviation is a bit the same. I've got everything up to tier 4, excluding the new interceptors. I managed to pick up the two um, D4Y2 and the D4Y3 uh, a, a, a naval bombers. And uh, then I've got to unlock everything at tier 5. I'm going to probably unlock everything through the KI-200, then go down the R2Y2, and then probably down to the towards the Sabre. The Italians are last, and it actually took me three days to unlock everything, thanks to this wonderful aircraft. So when the Italians first came out, I, I picked this vehicle up. It is a ripper of a vehicle, especially on Norway. Load a sling loader's torpedo underneath. Boom, drop that on a destroyer. Go out, take out a few landing craft. Go quickly land at A while you're, you're still up, and go intercept anything that comes to attack you. Basically end up by getting a lot of RP. So I've got everything in the Italian tree, including the new S81, which they introduced last patch. Um, yeah, I've got everything in the Italian tree, including all the premiums. And when the tanks come out, I'm probably going to do the same, just because I'm now more of a collector. So yeah, in short, that's what I'm up to. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast or say too many ums and ahs. War Thunder has progressed pretty quickly. I've got most of everything. It's just the tanks now that I'm really working on, uh, particularly high-tier tanks. I've got most mid-tier tanks, uh, and I need to work on high-tier aviation in most of my prospective nations. So I'm one vehicle away from completing it on the Germans, and, well, several tanks from completing it in the Germans. I did a tally up, and I believe I've only got around 129 vehicles left to get in War Thunder, so that number is slowly but uh, everly closing in, so there's that. So anyway, just a quick video, just updating you on my tech tree progress as of uh, October 2017. Probably do this again in a year to see what I'm up to, um, if, if I progress if any, because I'm starting to really enjoy some racing sims and playing a lot of Armour 3. Recently got a, a, a loner graphics card in there, thanks Deadmate. Um, he brought down from his older PC, and well, if, you, if you've noticed that the graphics are slightly high, you probably haven't, but I'm going to do a separate video uh, eventually, and that uh, means I can do some IL-2 videos in higher quality now, so I'm really pumped to do some, some IL-2 flyouts too. So... A quick fill of video while I continue to edit through everything that happened at PAX Australia uh, this past weekend. I hope you enjoyed and uh, well, happy Halloween to those who celebrate it and um, I'll catch you in the next one.